Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to share my workflow for system design. So I'm a big fan of system design. I think it's very, very fun. And I do it in two steps. The first step is basically I just sit down and brainstorm on Excaladraw. And this is one of my favorite tools so far. So this is what we have. So first up, we have Excaladraw. It, this is an open source virtual whiteboard. And it's one of those whiteboards that's perfect for sketching, you know, like hand drawn like diagrams, but without your terrible handwriting, right? I use it to put things together, make make my ideas really cleaner, and uh, you know, have this flow chart like look that looks really really pleasing to the eye and puts everything together. So, for example, this was a an idea that I had a conversational system for Netflix. And I wanted to put it together in, in that way and see how I could think about it, right? Now, let's say, for example, that I'm done, then I would move over to Eraser, right? Which, which we'll get to in, in a second. But first, let me show you, it's not so different from other tools that you probably looked at, like Miro. And you can still do the same things, which is put the figures, you know, the rectangle, the circles, the, the triangle. But, you know, with additional stuff, right, like you have different strokes, backgrounds, nice strokes, stroke style, sloppiness, edges, you know, opacity. You have all that stuff it makes it really look nicer. And you could have a small little legend if you wanted to, to explain what each one of those items mean. And that's really, really useful when you're using this for system design, whether it's for architecture, architecting purposes, or even just for explaining it to other people because it really puts the idea together when you play with it a couple of times on a, on a sketch. Now, after you've had that in, what you want to do is probably formalize it. Turn it into something that is appropriate to your either your, your cloud or your bare, your cloud provider, or if you're using bare metal, which is probably never. So in my case, for example, I have been using AWS for most of my career. So I found this tool, it's called Eraser. A very weird name considering that you don't erase anything, you're just putting things together. And I absolutely love it. So basically, after you're done with your flow in Excaladraw and you've put things together, and you've probably even used this AI feature to change the what you've been thinking about into a diagram to start off, which is probably something that you're going to edit a lot. You take that knowledge and you move over to this eraser diagram where you can turn everything that you've had so far into a proper AWS architecture. And this is going to help you think more about the types of services that you should I be using Lambda? This is really going to help you know where to look. So the idea here is not just to have cool tools to help you with system design, but rather to help you with system design plus giving you an idea about where to look. You're using every unfair advantage that you have with these AI driven tools. And yes, you can probably, you know, handwrite a lot of this. You could probably put things together in Miro but you want to use every single unfair advantage that you have. And that's what I've been doing. I've been using Scala to shape up my ideas, put them together, and then take those ideas, probably run it through ChatGPT in order to criticize it as much as possible to see what the problems, what the flaws are. And I would go to something like eraser.io and help to ask it to help me build this system for me. Once I have that all laid out, I would have my notes here to basically see what I wanted to cover. And the good thing about this the this note system in Eraser is that you can have a technical design document for different levels. So if you want to explain it to other engineers, to someone who's non-technical, there is a path to do that. And that's really, really important. You can communicate this with stakeholders in the business. Now, I guess what I'm trying to say is here, coming up with a design is as important as remembering and explaining the design. And this is why I really love these two tools, Excalibur and Eraser. By the way, I'm not paid by them. It's, it's a very, very small channel. It's less than a thousand subscribers so far. But the idea here is that these tools help you with that unfair advantage. Anyway, try them out. I think you'll love them. Have a good day.